Well, hello viewers, it's day three of Sea Otter Classic 2024 and I have a school shirt as well. I showed you some amazing gravel bikes yesterday, but today let me show you a mix of the show. Some mountain bikes, some road bikes, some cool paint jobs and some other cool, quirky, funky products. So let's dive straight in. Hey, hello, I'm Santiago Toro from Scarp Cycles and uh, here we have uh, Santa Rosa uh, with a Magdalena paint scheme, which is a uh, our homage to Colombia's main river. It's uh, an antique map of uh, the river of Colombia, the main river of Colombia. And it basically runs all along the country until it gets to the Caribbean Ocean. Uh, and as everything we do at Scarab, it's uh, a bit of a story of our country, uh, of our culture, and of course of the cycling that happens in the mountains in Colombia. Every single frame is handmade in our shop. Uh, we do cutting, welding, and painting in-house. Um, assembly, although we do it in-house, it happens in uh, our office in Miami. So we build the frames in Colombia, we ship them to Miami, we put them together, and then we reship it to basically anywhere. So we started in 2014 with another brand name. Um, part of that team moved uh, with me and um, we started Scarab in 2018. So it's been October this year, it's gonna be six years uh, doing it, yeah. What type of uh, road bike, who's it for? Who's it aimed at the road bike this model? So this is the Santa Rosa, which is uh, our most aggressive, like highly reactive bike. Every single bike is uh, ge customized geometry, which means we get uh, to give an infuse uh, personality, as we like to call it, into every bike. Uh, that doesn't only cover the contact points, but it also covers details like angles and uh, very, very intimate stuff of the bike that's gonna make it handle and feel in a certain way. So this road bike, like this particular one, was built very aggressive. So we have a very fast, racy feeling, but still gets the properties that still is known for. So really good road vibration absorption and still plenty good power transfer. So we get a bit of both, both of the things we define as a right quality on a bike. All your bikes made from steel? Every single bike is made out of steel. No uh, carbon? No carbon. Um, we source three main manufacturers of steel, Columbus, Kaize from Japan, and um, Reynolds from the UK, yeah. Do you do uh, other models, gravel bikes as well, or is it just road bikes? So we do a gravel bike that's called the Paramo. We do an old road bike that's called the Apuna. And we do a mountain bike that is called uh, Darien. So Scarab, um, basically Scarab means Beetle, uh, Escarabajo in Spanish. And in the Pro Tour, whenever you point at a, at a cyclist and you said un Escarabajo, an Escarab, an Escarab uh, in Spanish, what you are actually saying is that that is a Colombian pro climber. And it, they're called Escarabajos because they can crawl into anything. So it is a name that came out in pro racing years ago, decades ago, uh, and it's, it stayed. So Colombian cyclists are na commonly named as Escarabajos. And Scarab is a homage to Colombian cycling culture. What, what we do is actually tell a story from Colombia. Okay. And the cycling that happens in there is just absolutely magical because it is a very challenging country uh, socially, uh, geographically. We, it's been a, uh, it, it's, it's tough for people, but that forms, well, that creates really amazing people because at the end of the day, they are tough, but they're good hearted. And I think our brand transfers that like in a very joyful way. Uh, we are loud, Colombians are loud. We're exuberant and full of flavor. Uh, and our paint jobs and our bikes tell that story. And I, I think that's why we get some of the best climbers in the world is because of uh, that heritage and that Colombian story that forms that tough people, but again, good hearted and playful. So you can see details of Colombia everywhere. Like uh, we have our flag there. Like all of our bikes have a little insignia that points out uh, something like Echo in Colombia. That's how they stamp the coffee sacks for exports. So, so you know, there's, there's a, a, a big story that's being told uh, behind every bike and I think that's the the the, the reason of Scarab cycles is you know uh, cycling can be challenging I think it needs to be challenging to be fun but it still needs to be fun right so so we I think Colombia does amazing at showing that 
Hi, this is Eric from Redshift Sports, and uh, I want to tell you about our uh, suspension seat post lineup. We've got a new post uh, released at Sea Otter here, and um, so we've now got three seat post versions, and our idea is that we have a seat post that's going to fit everybody's riding style. Um, so we have our original seat post here, which is a uh, spring-based. It's got 35 millimeters of travel. It's called the Endurance, Shock Stop Endurance, and it's highly tunable. It's also very fast and, and reactive, so it's a great post for riding really rough stuff, uh, you know, doing all kinds of commuting and that kind of thing. We've got a, uh, what are, is called our pro race post, which is really geared towards gravel racing, performance road riding. This is a lightweight post, highly damped, and you can uh, change out elastomers and springs through the top of it, but it's our lightest weight version. There's a little bit less tuning in it, um, and it's got a little less travel. And then we've added our Shockstop Pro Endurance seat post, which is kind of a combination of both. It's lighter than our standard, it's not as light as the race, but it's got a lot more adjustability and it's got the damping in there and it's got the adjustability. So you get kind of everything of both worlds. And this is one where we think about is really, really great for your sort of like anyone riding gravel. This is the way to go. It's got the travel, it's got the adjustability and it has the damping. So it makes for a really, really nice ride on that bike where it does all the work for you, but you don't really feel like it's getting in the way at all. And that's available now as well? It is available now, yep. And is that, how's that price compared to the two? Yeah, so, so our standard seat post is at 229. This new Pro Endurance is 279, and then the Pro Race is at 300. Um, this is called the uh, Top Shelf, and it's a riser drop bar um, with a double crossbar construction here. And basically the idea behind this is that it's a really relaxed, upright riding position on uh, any bike. So it's kind of like an adventure position potentially, uh, but it's also corrective. So if you've got a steer tube that's cut too short, you're running a high rise stem, but you'd rather have a bit of a more traditional look on the bike. This is a way to get that rise. Um, and it's super utility as well. Because of the double bar, you've got all this open space on top to put uh, mounting computers and phones, accessories, lights, everything. And then it's also super stable for bags. So because of the two different bars, you can attach the bag really securely so you won't get it flapping around. So it's kind of great for bike packing for, like I said, you know, correcting rise where you need it, but also just this relaxed adventure position on kind of on any bike. So we have a 50 millimeter rise and a 70 millimeter rise. And then the bar comes in four widths right now, 44, 47, 50, and 53. And we're gonna introduce a 41 down the line. Is that from the hood to hood? It is from the hood, yeah. And you've got a flare to drop. Flare, this is 25 degrees. Yeah. And then later on, we're gonna do a, a less flared version as well. It is, yeah, and, it, and I think that uh, we uh, I don't think we realize how much untapped uh, uh, demand there was for something like this, because a lot of people come out saying, I've been waiting for this bar the whole time. So I think that it kind of hits a, a chord with a lot of different people, a lot of different styles of riding. So you talk about being corrective. Do you need to adjust the stem if you fit this, or is it a case of you want an extra height? Yeah, I mean, a way of avoiding a a pointy up stem. Typically, I think it's people that are looking for a little bit of extra height to get a bit more of a relaxed fit, or maybe their fit is actually too aggressive to begin with. So this in and of itself actually can correct the fit. If someone is got a really dialed fit and then they're gonna do this, they may want to change the stem a little bit as well and kind of think about that. And this top bar must give you more space for accessories. Definitely, lines, yeah, features. it's a perfect place for that. And then, and then again, you know, you can actually clamp to this too. So this is a 25-4 uh, diameter. So this is like an old school road diameter. So with shims, you can clamp anything you need and you can actually mount this in the stem. So you could even have the bar dropping below and put a bag below or put accessories below. Okay, so it's heavier and does it reduce the amount of flex of the clients on the handlebar compared to a... It actually doesn't. It actually feels pretty normal for an alloy bar. Um, and you can feel it. It's not actually the, the heaviest bar out there. It's a pretty, uh, pretty standard um, thing. We, we try hard to kind of optimize durability and uh, weight. And it's it's a very rugged bar, you know, it's it's an alloy bar, so you, you can treat it the way you normally treat that kind of stuff. Uh, available now in shops now? It is, yeah, available now. And um, uh, we've got it direct on our website, redshiftsports.com, and then we're getting it to dealers in June. Okay. So our next bike that we have is new to us um, here at Sea Otter. It's the Express that a lot of people would have seen us launch in September of last year. This is our foray into the e-bike category. This one in this build kit is uh, more of an aluminum um, component tree set. So aluminum bar, aluminum stem, aluminum seat posts, and as well as alloy wheels. 
the we're able to drop the price by 25 percent with this build kit but the all the main features stay there the drive unit the hardware all the integration and features you know the frame quality the ride characteristics so this in the u.s market is a class three pedal assist up to 28 miles an hour we have changed the kind of positioning on this bike by adding the flat riser bar um, versus the drop bar known that the express is known for and that was just from some feedback just to have some secondary options of not every customer is comfortable with drop bars so we wanted to be able to offer you know both both minded customers an opportunity to get out and experience how what a moots is like so very proud of this one uh yeah 29 by 2.1 nanos on there they can kind of get you in over your head so <laughs> happy to bring that one here so as you guys know, as the viewers know of David's channel, this is the Vamoots 33. He's got a little time just recently on this bike. This is our um, working man's road bike. You know, everybody needs one of these. It's got tire clearance, you know, in the high 30C range, 36, 38. It's uh, built with our traditional straight gauge titanium tubing that we've been working with for decades now. We partner with a company here in, in the U.S. called Lima, um, who extrudes to our specs. You know, we machine a lot of the other interfacing parts, the head tube, the C-tube insert, the bottom bracket, the dropouts, all in-house. Um, we've engineered a 3D printed flat mount adapter that we weld in to keep the alignment the brake caliper very parallel. And we're able to kind of do all that and build the same high quality frame as every one of our other premier frames while keeping the price in check. So as built this bike here, it retails at $74.99 um, in the US. And yeah, we're, we're happy to go up from there and offer all our different finishes, custom geometry, um, additional uh, weld-ons like fender mounts, rack mounts, anything that uh, might be of interest. But the Vamoose 33, check it out on our website today. Ciao a tutti again. My name is Giacomo, Product Marketing Manager for Campagnolo. Here we have uh, this beauty with the new Super Record uh, wireless group set, which now comes also with the power meter, which is a, a peculiar characteristic, is the super high precision. Uh, accuracy is plus minus 1%. Uh, you're gonna get a gyroscope, which is always gonna tell you where the crank arm is all around the revolution. You're gonna find 16 strain gauges inside the spider, which are gonna be connected electrically all together. And the data samples, data sampling is gonna happen every five milliseconds. And this is what is delivering the highest accuracy you can find. To always find the right data in terms of watts on your computer whenever you're riding. And here we have also the new Boras, uh, the new generation, uh, the new generation which has been recently launched here in the 45 millimeter rim depth, 25 millimeter inner um, inner channel, aero optimized with the 28 millimeter tires, and on the ultra level you will find just 21 spokes with seven triplets. You will find also the carbon fiber hub in the front. Of course, ceramic bearings, the cult, so the highest level of Campagnolo on the hubs. And you will also find ceramic bearings on the freewheel body, which is a first time for a Campi in this respect. Hidden nipples for this uh, high range. So marginal gains in terms of aerodynamics, but at the, at the same time, ease of use for the mechanics because they can maintain and adjust the spokes from the outside. You don't need to dismantle the wheel set to do that. Closed bridge, as always, for the Campagnolo wheel sets with the two-way fit, meaning that uh, the wheel set is going to be more solid, more rigid, and more resistant. And so the consumer then can also choose between the clincher, the tubeless ready, and the tubeless tires. Well, for sure now, we have recently launched the highest uh, group set in the Campagnolo range. Now we have uh, the power meter. We have the new generation of the Bora on the Ultra WTO and on the WTO. We have recently launched the Hyperon Ultra and the Hyperon Family. So for sure, in the Campagnolo portfolio, we have uh, this whole set of cards, which for us are going to be very, very interesting in the high, high end uh, range of the frame sets all around the world. So for sure, we want to be seeing uh, a lot of Campi spec in that respect in, uh, in a wide selection in terms of frames.